top two, of course, going through, plus the next two fastest losers. But the big news from that first heat, Jamaica are out. They got DQ'd. Uh, we had a DNF from the Netherlands and the Czech Republic. Uh, didn't see what it was from Jamaica, perhaps out of lane. Uh, no doubt we'll see that or hear about it later on. But let's focus now on <laughs> heat number three. Australia are here. And uh, let's see how they get on. They didn't uh, reach the semi-finals last time round, two years ago. But uh, they have made the finals before. They'll be hoping to do so again. South Africa in lane five. They haven't made a final for 16 years in this event. Germany on the outside of South Africa. The bronze medalist behind USA and Jamaica last time around. And silver medalist from uh, 2010 and 2012. Good record from them. New Zealand. Don't often see them producing a relay team at this event, so nice to see the New Zealanders qualified. Italy in lane eight, Dosso, Bonicalsa, Niotta, and Oki, and then uh, the Irish outside there, Molly Scott. Taking uh, leg number one, Charlene Maudsley ready to take over for that uh, back straight. And then Akpe Moses and uh, Kiara Neville on the ankle leg for the Irish. They're in lane nine on the outside. Are we going to see all five, six teams, sorry, getting through to the, uh, to the finishing tape? Only the first two automatically qualified. Yes, at the moment, it's an event which is claiming more victims and casualties than Foynhaven's Grand National. Sports historians look that up. So Australia, lane four with Gabriella O'Grady. And she gets away cleanly, chasing Magaman of South Africa in lane five. Betch hold of Germany in lane six. Germany uh, effectively the favourites to take this heat and uh, a good exchange, not the cleanest from the Germans, but uh, they're through onto the back straight. All six teams still in the running. The Irish going well on the outside. Morsley handing over to K. Moses now, uh, starting to make advances. The Italians in lane number eight, dropping off the pace as we watch New Zealand. Good performance from the New Zealanders, and they lead going into the uh, home straight now. Coming strong on the inside of New Zealand is Germany with uh, Chantal Budzek trying to make ground, but she can't do it. And it's New Zealand with Olivia Eaton who uh, comes through to take that one. Great run from them, and uh, nice to see some clean exchanges for a change. Well, having said that, I reckon the Italians may well have won that had they had a clean baton change at the end of leg two. But New Zealand, who, let's be honest, we don't tend to associate them with uh, producing outstanding sprint relay quartets, but it's purely and simply because there was baton speed. There were no terrible mistakes made in the baton exchanges. This is the first change. Now, what's the second one involving the Italians? Because I think the Italians were very close to leading at halfway here. Tremendous leg from uh, Sofia Bonicalza here. And look at the baton change now, Alessia Niotta. Two from the left. She's gone up way too soon as Niotta. And look how the incoming runner is desperately trying to give her the bat, and she's screaming at her. The arm is out, but she almost has to stop. And look at the loss of momentum. I reckon that cost them five metres, but well done to New Zealand. Yeah, that's an excellent run from New Zealand. The PB from them, and uh, unofficial time, 44.57 which is uh, almost half a second inside their previous best, so they'll be delighted with that. So, a New Zealand national record. One or two sports in which you uh, really do expect New Zealand to excel and win out, but relay running, not really one of them, but well done, must have a real chance of picking up a medal. Getting the better of the Germans. France with 43.82 on that second heat fastest of the day so far. Now, having uh, just uh, talked about the successes of New Zealand, I think uh, at the start of that final leg, 
drifting outside the lane, just hearing that they have been disqualified, suffering the same fate as the Jamaicans. Well, that will be a bitter disappointment to them. Чемпионат МЛС в прямом эфире.